To consolidate the knowledge we have just learned, I would now like to demonstrate how to obtain all the echo images necessary for a standard pediatric echocardiogram using the sequential segmental approach. So here I have my model patient, who's Lucas, who's 10 years old. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? Very good. Excellent. The first step of any pediatric echocardiogram is to ensure that you talk to the family and talk to the patient. This is a very, very important step because this allows you to develop some rapport with the patient and to allow for your child to feel at ease with the study and with the exam. So, Lucas, today what we're going to do is take some special pictures with a camera so that I can look at your heart, okay? Yeah. What we're going to do is have a look at the heart, have a look at how the heart is functioning and how the heart is put together. Okay. Would that be okay for you? Wonderful. So the first step is to ensure that your patient is properly um, prepared. So this means taking off his T-shirt or his top. So Lucas, is it okay if we take off your T-shirt? So now that Lucas is lying comfortably on the bed, it is now time to place our ECG leads on. It is standard for any echocardiographic study to place three ECG leads on the chest and the abdomen such that we can have proper acquisition and trigger of the loop beats during the acquiring of images of the study. For positioning of the ECG leads, place one lead at the lateral aspect of either side of the abdomen. It does not matter greatly where it is as long as it is away from your scanning field, which will be in the middle of the abdomen. The second ECG lead is normally at the left shoulder, again away from your scanning field, and the third ECG lead is placed at the right shoulder. So this allows now for an ECG to be captured at the time of the recording. It doesn't really matter which colors are where, as long as the ECG leads are placed in these positions. And now we're ready to start. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.